Bro, this is crazy, bro. I don't really got no script for this, right? I'm not going to be doing any, like, crazy editing here. I just really, I just need to talk about this with somebody, man. Anybody. I feel like I'm the only one caught up to Boruto right now because everybody gave up. <laughs> I'm also a little bit under the weather, so this is going to be a quick one. But, yo. Yo, what what is actually happening right now? Ada got to be one of the most broken characters in the history of Naruto, right? Was the clairvoyancy not enough? Was the all-seeing, all-hearing eye not enough? Was the Boa Hancock, Metal Metal, simping powers not enough? Bruh, you had to give her omnipotence, yo. This is like some almighty level stuff right here. Like, literally, she's rewriting reality, bro. Altering people's memories. Spoiler alert, by the way. Everybody has their memes about Kaoki being the best character in Boruto, right? But now, like, yo, Ada, like, actually, like, she went all the way with it like it's legit kawaki naruto next generations now like the story boruto and kawaki have completely switched positions in the story bro i always felt like boruto and kawaki's dynamic was like an inverse of naruto and sasuke you know boruto kind of being sort of like sasuke kind of being that kid that came from everything that kind of has everything all the talent all the popularity right and then Kawaki being the guy, the underdog, the kid that came from nothing, that got it out the mud. An ordinary average Joe that had to scratch and claw his way just to get even half as far as just a basic regular shinobi, right? Bro, they've even done an inverse of that. Honestly, I mean, I'm not going to say Ada fixed the entire Boruto story because... I mean, it did take us 80 chapters to get here, but like, bro, just think of the potential for Boruto's character growth here, right? Naruto had to scratch and claw and struggle his way to the top, right? And earn everything that he had. Boruto was just born with it. He was just given it. But now he's lost it all. As Momoshiki said, he's lost his entire life, literally. All of his friends, all of his family. Boruto has to start from scratch now. And I think now, you know, whatever the next step is for his character, you know, time skip incoming, seeing that journey of him learning to appreciate all the things that he's taken for granted for so long. Yo, honestly, it's, this is great rehabilitation for Boruto's character. I'm not going to lie. Kawaki's character, more importantly, I feel like this entire chapter was just a microscope on Kawaki's character. Like, it's weird, bro. It's weird that that scene in the beginning of Boruto and Kawaki fighting on top of the stone faces it, this chapter completely recontextualizes that entire scene because basically now in that scene boruto was the villain and kawaki is the hero but in reality to boruto in pretty much the entire hidden leaf village kawaki is the enemy kawaki has committed the ultimate crime of attacking the hokage but even in that kawaki isn't even really a villain like Ka he isn't even evil really he's just it, it's it's good intentions with everything that he's doing he's just he just wants to protect the people that he cares most about he's just going about it the wrong way right so it's just yo man like shades of gray man this is this is honestly incredible say what you want about the boruto series but kawaki and boruto's relationship is one of the most interesting things in all of naruto to me but then I also got some other questions like, okay, S Sarada isn't affected by this thing that Ada did, right? Basically rewriting reality, altering people's memories. To me, I see it as like just a really, really, like really high class genjutsu. In the chapter, Momoshiki explains everybody's consciousness is all basically just chakra, right? It's all linked through chakra at least. And Ada just manipulated that to change everybody's perspective of reality. So if this is like, I don't know, the highest level of Genjutsu or some shit and it didn't affect Sarada, like why didn't it affect Sarada? Does it have to do with the fact that she can't be charmed by Ada? If that's the case, then what about all the other people that can't be charmed by Ada? What about Sumire? Does it have to do with the fact that she's an Uchiha? The Senrigan is a Dojutsu, just like the Sharingan and the Renegan. After Ada does her thing, we only see Sasuke for a second and it, I can't, you can't really tell if he's been affected by this or not but honestly like i mean boruto needs a mentor right someone to guide him through this whole ordeal because he ha he has to leave the leaf village at this point right who else from the naruto story who else do we know that knows what it's like to be public enemy number one an outcast a rogue right and we do see boruto wearing sasuke's cloak during that fight against kawaki so I don't know, man. Yo, honestly, all I got to say is that Mitsuki and Shikamaru, bro, 
Mitsuki and Shikamaru are the two people you want to have on your team. Amado tried to give Shikamaru like an easy way out. Like, hey man, I got this command code to shut down Kaoki, just like I got one for Delta. Like, I can help you out, and this could all be over in a second. Shikamaru was like, nah, bro, nah. Fuck all that. Violence. Nigga, I chose violence. Yo, Shikamaru said, yo, this man has committed the ultimate sin. Enough is enough, man. Like, and then Mitsuki, bro, Mitsuki. Like, I feel like ever since Kaoki killed Boruto the first time and nobody really knew about it, Mitsuki secretly knew about it, and this man was on his ass. Bro, just the hatred that this man has for Kaoki is like, honestly, I've never seen Mitsuki show this much genuine emotion before ever in life. Yo, why am almost Shiki just trolling the whole chapter, though? Like, my... Yo, some of these faces, yo, some of these faces in this chapter from Momoshiki, man, yo, this, this man ain't shit. Honestly, a lot of the art, like, I still, a lot of people, it, me included, don't really like Ikamoto's art. Sorry, this outfit. Eh. But, like, just, like, this one page right here, like, this whole page, I'll flash it up on the screen for a second. This whole page of Kawaki just, like, you know, explaining his internal conflict right now about having to kill the Hokage son. Specifically, these two panels right here with Boruto and Boroshiki side by side. Yo, I cannot wait to see this in the anime, bro. This is crazy. Bro, if this is Ada's true power, then what on earth could Damon be capable of? Omnipotence is a large leap from clairvoyance. Damon probably got, like, some parallel dimension shit going on or, like, some, some copy ability. I don't know. Is there really anything more broken than reflection? Bro, and I still do not trust Amado, man. I still feel like he's hiding something. He's, I, I feel like he's hiding like 10 things. Bro, you're talking to... You have open communication with Shikamaru. Why don't you just tell him about Ada's secret ability to rewrite life, right? I feel like that would really help. All right, so, so far, I got four people on my list of people that possibly have not been affected by Ada's omnipotence. Excluding, of course, Ada... Her brother, Kaoki, and uh, Boruto. We got Naruto and Hinata, because they aren't here right now. They're in a completely separate dimension, nowhere on the planet. Sarut is confirmed to have not been affected by the Jutsu. She is the only one besides Boruto, you know, of Team 7 that's actually feeling a difference here. And then Sasuke and Sumire. Well, I guess five people. Sasuke and Sumire are up in the air. Sumire because, you know, she can't be charmed, similar to Sarada. But then also Sasuke because... He's an Uchiha, just like Sarada. So it's like, that's all Boruto really has to rely on right now in terms of the truth. Yo, this training arc is about to be crazy, man. Hey, I don't usually do discussion videos like these, but let me know if you like it. Every Bleach ending ranked from worst to best coming soon. If it's, if it's me, I apologize. I'm just high. So sometimes I'll just emphasize. I'm just shy, so I really need to emphasize. After this performance, check my vitals, make sure that I'm still alive.